so uh, we've had this talk in the past and so this question comes into mind is we're talking about acquisitions mergers mm. and you're talking about how some people are able to get that within a s couple of years yeah and then you have people who come into the market yeah and they make a hoo-ha about yeah. getting these funds those funds yeah. but nothing is actually there <laughs> to hold something mm -hmm. which is substance yeah and people get deluded so mm. people different other businesses or startups get deluded by this oh this is what i want but yeah. they don't know what's really happening in the background mm. what do you advise them what do you say to them hey it's it's don't judge a book by its cover. What do you say to them? Yeah, I think. Well, look, I think with startup, it's 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 fascinating. I'm 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 shocked that the, the you know sometimes with the kind of ranges of funding. But you hope down the line that everybody's done some due diligence. You hope that the story and the problem that that this new startup is solving is significant enough to go the line. Mm. Um, but yeah, there's there's kind of. Lots of schemes where peop the wool could be pulled over people's eyes, but there's some great programs, and you know there's there's lots of things in the media now with uh, you know with so people know more about structured funding and mm. and raising capital yeah. and and expanding. So there's a lot more information these days than there, there was. Um, and and w when let's say someone who's got a startup. Yeah. comes up to you yeah. and says, Paul, I want you to be one of the investors, one of the people who can fund it. Yeah. What is that you, would, because this is something you enjoy doing, yeah. what is that you would look in that organization, in that startup or in that mid-range company that will say, yep, I'm going to invest. Oh, no, 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 no. These are mm. danger signs for me. What, 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 what do you do? How do you do that? I think it's all about the, the character and the charisma of, of the founder. I think nine times out of ten, it's whether you believe that that person's in this for the right reasons, for the right time scales. It's not just a, I need to start up, get rich, sell it and move <laughs> on. So I think, again, that goes back to the value. So mm. for, for me, that, that would be a principle. Mm. Um, um, you know, does it make sense? Does it make business sense? Mm. What's the kind of term before the next round, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, I think there's also a there's a gut feel as well sometimes mm. you just kind of know this is the right thing mm. um, and then sometimes you, it's just that the financial stack up <laughs> yeah so you kind of don't need to get involved this is a, a platform to invest here's some information some financials yep. here's some detail you do your due diligence and then mm. then you you know you take you take that risk of investing so yeah there's different ways to get involved and how you want to be involved I think depends on the characteristics of the person. Okay. When you are dealing with people, and this is what I've seen very clearly about you, you is you have this great focus on mental wellness. Mm. Mm. Why? I think it's fortunately it's be become more apparent <laughs> yeah, yeah no it's apparent yeah, yeah but yeah. You, i've known you from yeah sure one. It's been sure big. yeah i just I, I think you again you have a sense of where people are stretched and and mm. then you have to be aware that's all i think it's just the awareness that somebody might be going through problems that are deeper than the actual issue you're talking mm. about something that's surface level mm. but there are there are sometimes things that are going on I think there's a balance of digging too deep into people's personal yes. lives, but but being able to say is everything okay? Mm. You know, what's what's the issue? Is there a, mm. a, any other underlying issues? So yeah, it's always been um, prevalent to me, and 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 sometimes it's really clear where people are going through through challenges. So it's just again opening a conversation. Hmm. that there's an opportunity to talk about it which fortunately we're getting we're doing a lot more now as a society yep. you know to to enable people to to speak out more and which comes to the next thing is you've got your senior execs mm. mba students mm. professional people what would you say to them in regards to mental wellness how should it be one of the th top things 
on your agenda when you when you are working for someone or you're running your organization or dealing with other people around you mm. I think it's just awareness mm. I think it's um, making sure that the message is clear mm. Um, it's education, I guess, at the mm. end of the day, and we've got plenty of that. Even it. even if you just, you know, have a part of, I mean, we, we set up a, you know, a university, an internal, mm. even though it's a small business, we have our own kind of university, and we're saying this is v virtual learning for, I don't know, m mental health, work-life balance, those kind of things. Mm. So you're making sure that people know that that, that content's there and available, mm. but more importantly, that that somebody's there to talk through the human touch. The human know. touch, and I talked earlier about blended learning, yeah. and I still think that we need, you know, a, a, a tutor, a mentor. You mentioned it earlier, having yeah. you know people that you can go to to have conversations with, um, and then there's online and yeah. you know and and online live virtual learning so there's all these different modalities mm. and i think it's important to make sure you get in it from from everywhere because we've all got different learning styles mm. you're a family man mm. and you live a busy life mm. how do you manage between work mm. and your personal life mm. how do you manage it well, I, I, you, it, it has to be the same thing. I mean, you know, we keep talking about work-life balance, yeah. but and, and I think again through the pandemic, it's been more apparent. Can you can you manage both? Because <laughs> lots of people are actually at home, yeah. so maybe it's created more divorces than anything <laughs> else. But I, but yeah, I think it is. Um, it's just knowing your priorities. Mm. It's now it's about time management, mm. like everything else, and and where your priorities are. Mm. So it's. And, and that goes back to your values. So I think it all leads back to the same sort of thing. And, um, but it's not easy. Mm. Um, but then that's, you know, that's, that's working it out and, again, being open and honest about it. So, uh, as I'm listening to you, so two things are coming up, up for me. Is, is One is, yes, we're living in a digital world, mm. but we are humans. Mm -hmm. So we need to have that value, that yeah. human touch with each other. Yeah. And that's so crucial. Sure. So we'll come to a close to this interview, mm. come to the close of it. My question to you is for the people who are listening out there um, who might be venturing into education, mm. who might be senior leaders or just professionals, what it, in your view, in your experience, how much emphasis should they give to their own education? Mm. I, it's everything. It doesn't matter what you do. I think it's just the source of and spice of life. Mm. I think if you're learning something new every day, and it's hard, to, you, you, th you think it's hard to learn something new every day, but you can go and seek it, whether you're playing a musical instrument, you're mm. traveling somewhere. Um, it, it doesn't really matter what it is that's new. Just be aware that you're learning something new. And I think that's about longevity, longevity, learning about kind of health and wellness, mm. whether it be mental wellness or physical wellness. All of these things are, they're almost small goal settings. Mm. So what do I need to learn this year? What do I need to learn this month? Mm. What's changed that I need to relearn? Okay. What do I need to unlearn? Mm. So all of these things are all about a philosophy that says this is about how do you grow as individuals how do we continue to learn and development? And then listen, you know, be aware and listen to people and, you know, make sure that they're, you've left an open door for people to criticize mm. you. Um, and because that's not easy. As you get up the tree, it's easy to say, well, I've done this, I've seen this before. But actually some kid comes through the door and says, have you thought about this? Uh, no, <laughs> and accept that, and then say, okay, that's something that you know it, it opens your mind to, you know, to learning and education. It's everything. Uh, it's a definitely. I mean, I can clearly see the essence of Godfather coming out of it. <laughs> um, I have one final question, mm. and that is, how do you maintain yourself so well, so well groomed, so well dressed? <laughs> What's your secret? 
even at this, you know, with all what you've learned through life, mm. all the things you've done, you, you still got this energy, this spark, and you can even see it in your external and in your internal appearance. How do you do that? Well, thank you for, for that. Um, I really take that as a compliment. Um, everything and anything. If somebody says to me, eat two walnuts every morning, I'm there. Okay. You know, experiment. Somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll run on the beach, you know, for five minutes every day. Okay, let's do this. So, yeah, everything. An anything that you believe in will help health and wellness do it and do it you know straight away don't go crazy <laughs> because that will you know, that will cause burnout but just do a little of something that benefits you every day that's my motto thank you so much paul really appreciate you welcome being here. Thank absolute you so pleasure thank you